If you think yoga is easy, you probably haven't tried doing it on water. This summer, floating yoga became a huge trend in fitness. It was big in London and Paris before it finally made its debut in New York City. But what if I told you that you could take a class here at the Y? Here at Duanesburg, the YMCA has its very own yoga class, and today I'm here to try it out. So could you tell me like a little bit about what boga is? So you're floating on these mats and you have to balance, so you're working your core, and then we're doing strength exercises with weights and with med balls, so you get a full body workout on this floating mat. What would you say are some of the benefits that are different from traditional yoga? With traditional yoga, you're on the ground and it's stable, but with boga, well obviously you're on the water, so that lowers the impact. So if you fall or if you're doing other exercises, you're not gonna injure yourself as easily because it's a moving surface. So your joints and things have less strain on them. What's something that you wish people knew about boga that they might not know? Well, I wish that they knew it was fun. <laughs> that it might look hard, but you'd be surprised by what you can do once you get out there and try it. harder than I expected it to be. The simplest parts of doing yoga become some of the hardest parts because so much about yoga is about like grounding yourself into your mat and when you're literally on water it's like impossible to ground yourself. That said, even though it was challenging, it was almost like really fun. It's worth noting that if you were going to take this class in New York City, you'd have to pay for a $50 day pass. That's crazy. If you're a member here at the Y, you only pay 20. And if you're a non-member, you pay 30. So if you live in the Capital District, you should totally make the drive down here to the Duanesburg YMCA and try a boga class for yourself.